Hello again, it's your favorite San Antonio realtor. I am Stephanie Arneal with Keller Williams Legacy and I'm back again. Today I am jumping all around the north side of San Antonio as per my use and I find myself kind of about like two minutes off of 1604, not far off 281 on the north side. Um, we are in a large exclusive gated community with wide streets. They've got a pool, they've got basketball courts, they've got tennis courts, they've got walking trails. Um, it's guarded. There's, it's actually guarded. There's a guard off one entrance and the other side is just gated and kind of tucked away out of the way. The first house I'm going to see in this neighborhood is a three bed, two and a half bath home. It's just over 2,700 square feet that was built in 1997. Um, it's one story, which is nice. It is listed over $500,000. Um, message me for exacts. Um, here's my cell phone number. Call me, text me. Let me know and I can tell you all the exact details and we can schedule a private showing for you. Um, also, I will put all my information up at the end, but if you will please make sure to like, share, and subscribe for me as well so we can keep this channel growing and have all the fun. All right, without any further ado, let's go in and see this gem of the house. All right, we have a beautiful red brick home with this glass doorway, wood and glass mixed door. So we're gonna head on in. And when you open the door, it's very light, very open. Let's see what we can find. All right, so when we go in, the first thing we see is the dining area. It's got a gorgeous chandelier on it. I do think it's an interesting choice that it's carpeted. I have children still. I don't know if I would put carpet under a table purposely, but that's just me, y'all. I'm jaded. It's the mom in me, but it's really pretty. All right, and then they actually have a really cool tile entry accent and pretty light fixture. To the right is one of the, a bedroom, or really an office actually, because um, they there are three other bedrooms, but it does have a closet. So it technically could count, but there's no doors on it. High ceilings, there's no light mounted in this room, um, but it does have built-in bookshelves and big tall windows. So there's good, good prospects. Okay, and then we've got this kind of formal living space with a mirror art nook in it, but we're gonna go this way first. On this side of the house, we have the half bath, which has some interesting wallpaper in it, guys. It's just a toilet, pedestal sink, and a mirror, and then it does have a big closet so good storage hidden away. They even put a rack up high. Good storage hidden away. Okay. And then across the hall from that, it's just a hall closet, coat closet. But then we go into the primary suite. So our primary suite is isolated from the rest of the house. It's got the double doors on it. And I will say they must have had a lot of lamps here before because none of the bedrooms have lights mounted on the ceiling, so they're a little on the darker side, sorry. So this primary is huge, guys. Look at this, and it's got a big bay window over here. It looks out to the backyard. And then the trade ceiling, ceiling fan. And then you can see into your primary bath with, again, double doors. When you come in, you do have a dual vanity, his and her style, great big mirror, storage, and the little laundry hamper part of it. And then closet, check out this closet, guys. It is huge and connects through. So it, it's got two entrances, so you could do his and hers and have the clothes hanging in the middle and everyone can have their own access, but it does all connect through and come out over here. And then we've got toilet, jetted big deep soaking tub, 
with a fun faucet. I just like the way that flows. I think it's pretty. And then a big tiled shower with the block uh, window glass in there. Let some good natural light in. Okay. Let's go see what else we can find around the rest of the house. Let's go over here next. We come into the kitchen and the living room. Okay, so we've got solid surface, pouring counters, fridge would live there. <laughs> you have KitchenAid, oven and microwave, a good little island. And this has the built-in part of the, like continuous part of the countertop sink in it. And then gas, or I'm sorry, not gas, it's electric glass top stove with fun little backsplash. And then the pantry is not terrible sized. And there's double doors that close off to block off to the dining, the other bedrooms, the garage is through there. We'll go there in a minute. But the island also does have drawers built into it, which is kind of nice. Extra storage is always good. And then they have, this house does have interesting spots. I'll show you more as I find them with extra up high, um, like display areas too. Um, so then we've got our kitchen, eating kitchen, kind of breakfast area and our big living room. And this uh, fireplace is kind of fun. Um, it's on a switch. So let me see if I can show you. Flip it. Just kind of flips on. But I'm not gonna leave it on because I don't actually know how they have it vented or what's gonna happen. So it makes me nervous when I don't know the history and there's not like an inspection happening, no reason to make it run. But it's kind of fun. All right, let's go to the backyard real quickly. Look at this. So this house, you will notice, is that same red brick all the way around. All brick housing, no siding. There's your bay window for the primary suite. It's oak season and oak tree season here in San Antonio. So there's lots of leaves on the ground. In fact, the list agent reached out to me and apologized for the way the yard looked because the yard company hasn't been by recently, but it's okay. I told her we could definitely work around that. I can hear my feet crunching on the leaves. And over here you've got, actually that's the blower for the fireplace, gas meter, electric meter, and the AC all the way down the line. Hmm. I like this patio too. If you'll notice, there's a good bit of it that's covered. And then that stone continues out even to the uncovered part. And the birds are chirping today. Okay. So over here, we've got our laundry room. Got a spot for extra storage, fridge, freezer, big mud sink. Look at that deep mud sink. Laundry space and then our garage. And you will also notice that this home is wired with a security system. So it's a two car garage, single door with an opener on there. And then out here they've got the water heater as well as water softener and the attic. So it's pretty basic, nothing too exciting, but pretty fantastic. All right. Last thing we gotta see, we still have a couple bedrooms and a bathroom to go, y'all. So another little art details above the doors. All right, let's see. So over here is the first of the bedroom, secondary bedrooms. You'll see the little shelf up high. It's kind of a darker bedroom. The bedrooms are carpeted. The rest of the house is all tile. Pretty basic closet. 
And then there's a Jack and Jill bathroom happening. So it does have dual vanity, which is super nice. You don't see that in a lot of the Jack and Jills. And then the tub shower combo and the toilet has its own door. So whoever's going to the bathroom or taking a shower is separate from whoever's getting ready for the day. And then our other bedroom. And it again has just like that last one, that up high kind of shelf that is kind of an interesting addition. Okay. All right, guys, what did we think of this one? It's one story. I like the layout. I personally like that the primary suite's separate from the rest of the house. Gives you a little bit of privacy over on that end of the house. Um, not a huge backyard but great patio for entertaining space style. Um, it is definitely, it was built in 1997 and definitely still could probably use, I, in my opinion, some updates, upgrades. It's got the wallpapers and things like that that are mid nineties. Um, but I think it's very reasonable, like nothing it, on the surface, nothing major needs to be done to it. Um, so tell me your thoughts, comment below, um, message me if you want to see it. We're going to go in a minute or I guess tomorrow for you guys, but for in just a minute for me, I'm going to see another house that's in the same neighborhood, just in the garden home section. So it'll be a smaller lot, um, but I can't wait. So I'm going to go over there right now. And in a second, you'll see all my contact info again. So please, please, please let me know what you think. Let me know what I can do for you. And as always, I'm your favorite San Antonio realtor, Stephanie Arneal, and I will see you on the next one.